how much money should you give to church? Someone literally asked me that question the other day. <laughs> and I thought, I can't answer that. <laughs> Are you kidding? Do you know what people think about churches and money and pastors like me? Like, I didn't want to touch that question with a thousand foot pole. But I also want to do answer an honest question. And maybe you've wondered it too. Um, can I answer this question with as much as I can assuring you that I don't want your money? I don't need your money. I don't want to upgrade my wardrobe. I like wearing the same clothes. <laughs> I don't want a new car, a bigger house. I just want to try to give you a straightforward biblical answer. Because the person who asked me this question from a sincere heart says, how much should I give? What does God want? What does generosity look like? And then she added, I just don't seem to have a balance and I sometimes give away more than I can realistically afford. So, with an open Bible, how would we answer those questions? Uh, I'd encourage you to start here. Stop making money just a private thing. You know, we have to be careful involving other people with our finances. Uh, Jesus said, don't give and boast about it so everyone knows how generous you are. But we need to balance that with the thought that every part of the Christian life is meant to be done in community. Like when I think about my marriage, um, I don't keep that private. I invite others to encourage me, pray for me, call me out, rebuke me because I, I want to grow as a husband. And it's the same thing with generosity. If I was going to send you to a part of the Bible, it would be 2 Corinthians chapters 8 and 9, two entire chapters about generosity. And you're going to find a lot of great truth in those chapters, but especially this, that the Apostle Paul didn't see giving as something that had to be a secret. He encouraged the Corinthians. He encouraged them to give, to be generous. He used the examples of other Christians. And so maybe, for lots of us, we've never even thought about this in our life, to call a trusted Christian, not to boast, but to say, hey, here's how much I make. Here's how much I give. Here's how much I spend. Here's how much I save. Do you think I'm doing this right? Invite them into your life so that you can grow as a Christian and so that maybe you don't give too much. Now, that might sound like a really unchristian thing to say, right? Didn't that poor widow that Jesus met give everything she had to live on? Is it actually possible that you could give too much to the church that God would be disappointed in that? That, that seems off, doesn't it? But according to Jesus, no. Do you remember that part in the Gospels where Jesus talked about korban, C-O-R-B-A-N? Uh, if not, it's a little bit obscure. Jesus once said to the religious leaders that they were giving this offering to the church that they called korban. And because they gave that offering to the church, they were unable to care for their own families. It was almost like they had a limited amount of money and they said, ah, sorry mom, sorry dad. Sorry, brother, I know you're poor. I know you have needs, but I gave all my money to the church. And you know what Jesus said? He rebuked them. He said, why are you giving all this extra money to the church when God, who runs the church, wants the church to take care of people who are in need? So, is it possible that you could give too much to Christian ministries? <laughs> As a guy who's part of a Christian ministry, uh, I want to tell you the answer is yes. If there are people right in your immediate family, the Bible would tell you again and again and again, care for them. You're not doing an unchristian thing by not just giving more to a Christian ministry. You're doing the thing that Christ did and you're caring for the poor. So be generous. Some of you have the op opposite problem. You're so scared to give. That's another devotion. But for those of you who have, have great hearts, be generous. Be balanced. And the best way to know if you are is bringing other people to speak into that conversation. Together, we can be wise with the incredible amount of money God has put into our hands. So, let's open our Bibles, let's call our friends, and let's live generous, wise, and Christian lives. Did you enjoy this video? Uh, if so, we would love to share even more Jesus with you, even if you have a busy, on-the-go kind of life. Uh, just click here and you can find the audio version for this podcast, along with all the other podcasts that Time of Grace offers.